Hi, my name is John and this is Business Update. In this week's episode, we'll be talking about the GPU update uh, for the month of July. Now, technically, it's already August, but based on the data we've collected for, or, or based on the article that was collected for the month of July. So let's take a look here. So if you are considering buying or upgrading your GPU, is it the best time? Now, obviously, in the past few months or the past few years because of the pandemic, the, the shortage of the GPU and even the, uh, what do you call this, the, the CPUs has exacerbated the shortage in supplies, which has spiked the demand with limited supply and has increased also the, the prices here. Now, is it worthwhile to buy now or should you hold on and wait uh, later this year now obviously for the companies like nvidia uh, and amd they want you to buy their products as soon as possible to, to generate that revenue but the question is in terms of the pricing of the uh, msrp versus second hand if you can get one uh, is it you know is it a good value to buy here so let's take a closer look here in terms of its pricing here now uh, I think I've mentioned this several times in, in the past that, you know, uh, I bought a RTX, uh, is it Asus? Yeah. And, uh, Gigabyte, it's Gigabyte, sorry. Gigabyte Aorus RTX 3070, which I bought uh, last, last January. So I bought it uh, in the mid of the pandemic and... Uh, was it a good investment uh, spending the north close to 50,000 pesos so that's roughly around a thousand dollars which is way above the msrp of the 3070 here and a, a year or so later or, or practically almost two years later uh, has the price come back to earth uh, well let's see here so obviously they've been selling newer products uh, newer models so let's see in terms of the trend here so you have 3050 3060 3060 ti 3070 3070 ti 3080 and 3090 here so based on the pricing uh last march 2021 uh you can see here it has it steadily grew and then it's now steadily you know decreasing but not significantly here. And let's look at the prices to, to make a comparison here. So here you go. So if you were to look at my <laughs> RTX 30, 70, it was supposed to be sold at $500. So if you convert that to peso times 50, that's roughly around 25,000 pesos. So I, I nearly practically paid twice the amount here. Now, whether that's because it's sold here in Southeast Asia or uh, because of the shortage here or they took advantage of the shortage uh, is another matter here. But nonetheless, if you look at the uh, secondhand market here, you can see it's still selling at a higher price, uh, even May, June, or even July. So there's still a 6% increase. Typically, when you're planning on buying secondhand products it should be cheaper here but that's not the case here and if you were to look overall as you can see here with a few exceptions of the 3090 ti 3090 and the 3080 ti which has a between 15 to 30 percent decrease of, of its original msrp here but still that's way uh the high end of uh the gaming video cards here and if you're looking to buy something more modest whether it's 3080 3070 or even 3060 and 3050 you're still paying a premium price here and if we were to look an actual store here in the philippines so uh, i use dynaquest pc which has a plethora of products here so you might consider checking them out they have different branches in manila here so you can see here they have an uh, gtx 1660 which is considerably cheap so you can buy it for less than 20,000 if they, if it's available here. But if you look here an ROG Strix 3080, it's a whopping 83,000 pesos, which is way above what I'm considering a good investment for a peripheral or component for your PC here. That's practically more than half of what I've invested in my current setup now. And if we were to scroll downward, so my 3070 has already 
uh, decrease. So it's now around 37, 38,000 pesos, which is still compared to the MSRP of 500 bucks or 25,000, it's still higher, but it's now lower to when I bought it a year ago. Then the 3080 is 86, 83,000. Then a MSI Ventus, uh, it's close to 50,000. And then let's see, 6750 RXT is close to 40,000. And then the sticks of 3080s, 80,000, still expensive. Uh, the 3080 uh, for gigabyte is 65,000. Uh, the 6650 XT Eagle is around 25,000, so that's more affordable. Anyway, let's look for something more high end. The 6950 XT, 84,000. The 3090 Ti is over 100,000 pesos. Whew. That's a bit much. So it would depend on the necessity of, of what you're using it for, whether it's for primarily gaming, streaming, video editing, or a variety of other factors. So it would depend on the price. So obviously investing on your CPU and on your GPU is a critical, critical component here, especially in my case, if uh, I do what I have to go online and stream and do uh, video recording. So I, I need to make sure that uh, my GPU is up to par and my CPU is up to par and has to work in tandem here. So whether you're using OBS for recording or using Zoom for making calls, uh, obviously having a superior component is uh, important. O obviously uh, having the motherboard to match with your CPU as well as uh, having a very fast uh, RAM is also important uh, as well as the size of the RAM. And obviously, who can forget the having installed a storage for NVMe for faster uh, connection from uh, setting, uh, turning on your computer or accessing your different apps here is also important as well. Now, if you're looking for something more affordable, so if we look at it uh, closely, so you have the RX 6400 Eagle, just for 4 gigabyte GDDR5. It's only cost a little over 10,000 pesos. Then the 6650 XT uh, is only uh, close to 27,000 pesos here. So now you have a variety of options here that you can consider, whether it's uh, AMD or even uh, NVIDIA's uh, graphics card here. It's just a matter of uh, looking at the price and understanding what you're you know, buying and what are you using for, and obviously you're investing it for the next few years. So spending a little bit more now is better than rather than cheap, uh, buying a cheap product then you have to upgrade in a year or two time. Then you have to throw away your older graphics card here, which was my thinking at the time. So do I really need a 3090 at the time? Not necessarily because I'm not playing heavy games here. I'd like to play the latest games at high settings. So I was thinking maybe 3080, 3070, or maybe even the 2080 Super at the time. But I considered at the time that investing on a 30 series would be a best way for me to future-proof myself so that, you know, I can still play uh, uh, the, the latest games in the coming years or so here. And it's not just the RTX here, even the GPU pricing, as we can see here. So if we were to look back here, as you can see, for the Radeon 6950, which is costing around, you know, a little over a thousand dollars, is slightly cheaper now by seven percent. Then the 6900 XT is cheaper by fifteen percent. Uh, there's better, better pricing in terms of the uh, AMD's Radeon graphics card here. So you can see across all boards, with the exception of 6800 XT and 6800, which is still slightly more expensive than the MSRP. But majority of them, as you can see, has already dropped in terms of price for as little as 3% all the way to 20% price. So if you're using radio, AMD radio, may, maybe you'd start considering uh, looking for a new one here. So at the end of the day here, uh, is it a good, is it the best time to, to buy? Obviously, again, you have to consider the, the pricing of its availability. And also, what's the upcoming graphics card that the, those companies are trying to uh, to release in the near future? Wherein, uh, if you wait a little bit more in terms of pricing, is it good value? 
and another key question is will it be available in your respective markets uh in your in, in your respective markets here and obviously one of my main concerns here since we're not top priority in terms of market distribution it will get here eventually but how fast it will get here will be the main question so maybe you want to consider what bargain values you can get from the older gpus or not so old gpus but nonetheless uh, not the latest uh, versions of those uh, graphics cards that you are considering here anyway so at the end of the day it's it's all about the choice what are you using for so that you make an informed decision uh, is it you know if if budget is not an issue then you can splurge on it uh, but if you're not maximizing the the usage then maybe you need to look for a more affordable uh, uh, option so that you know you're paying maximum value for the graphics that you're paying here assuming if it's available and i leave the link for for the DynaQuest PC and I also uh, leave the link for Vilman because uh, that's where I bought my setup at the time when I was considering set, uh, building my own PC uh, for you to consider if they have the graphics card uh, in their stores. Anyway, uh, I think that's it for today. Come back again on Wednesday for more business update. Hopefully we'll get better situ a better situation in terms of the shortage, not just in the GPU, as well as the CPU and, and whatnot as well. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Take care.